Hi, this is Ed from the Drum Exchange in Seattle, Washington. I'm going to give you some quick tips on tuning a drum. A lot of people come into the store and ask me to help tune their drums, and I've, I have a number of really interesting ideas that I think you'll find make tuning a lot easier. Um, really doesn't matter what kind of drum you're starting with. I tend to recommend starting with a small tom, some kind of a rack tom tom. This is an old Rogers cell we're going to use. Uh, something between a 10 and a 13 inch makes sense. Floor toms and bass drums are kind of peculiar. They have their own mufflings. Bass drums have muffling systems that kind of are another story. And floor toms are usually kind of deep and low and you just kind of got to find something you like. But the general idea of even tension tuning is what we're going to talk about today. So I'm going to put the camera on the head here so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And you might want to get a drum out and try this on your own too. Okay, well here we go. First thing we're going to do is make sure the head is fully detuned. So go around it, just make sure there's no no tension on it anywhere here. And uh, you'll notice I'm using two keys. This is kind of mostly the secret that I use. Um, two keys means you're going to be able to tune twice as fast. If you tune twice as fast, you're going to tune twice as often, and it'll actually become a skill. You'll do it a, a lot. And I think the biggest reason people don't know how to tune drums is they don't tune very often. First thing is to first find that first moment of tension. And notice I'm doing it again across the drum symmetrically, kind of just tightening my fingers and uh, finding that first moment of tension. I can kind of check that with the keys too if I'd like, just that first point. You want to make sure your, your tension lugs are basically clean. If you're hearing feeling dirt or something, that might deceive you. So obviously new drums are easier than older drums. This is an old Rogers shell, actually, butcher block, which is kind of neat. Then I'm just going to start tuning symmetrically across the head like this, T turning the drum as I go. It makes it a little easier. You could move around the drum, too. I don't have to go very much on a small tom. You don't have to tune very high. And then I'm going to stretch the head, give a little CPR here, really push on it. And that stretches the head out. Now the big thing about fine tuning is if you just kind of hit the edges, you'll hear generally the, how even the pitch is around the drum. But by putting your finger in the middle, it's like a guitarist when they're when they're playing on the frets, they'll they'll uh, tune the harmonics. That's what we're really doing here. It gets rid of the lower fundamental, so you just hear the edges. Now you'll hear that that was a little higher than that one. So I'm going to tune up. I prefer to tune up than trying to go down. Notice everything kind of moved up. And then of course if I push down on the head, it'll stretch it out. That's pretty good right there. And because if I'm tuning with two keys, every every evenness over here is going to be the same as over here. So my head can tune very accurately. Um, and then I, I might listen to the head, see what I like, if I like that general pitch. Flip it over and do the same with the bottom. So I'm going to first detune the bottom head to no tension. And then first find that first moment of tension with my fingers. Maybe check it up here a little bit if I want. And then from there I'll just start tuning up again. A couple of turns. And you'll get a sense of how much turning you want to do. It's already pretty high. Notice it went down. This one's higher than this one, which means both of these are lower. Now it's starting to sing. Even them out. It's pretty good right there. Make sure your mufflers are off. You don't want to tune with muffling. And make sure they're off when you put the drums on because you don't want them pushing on the head while you're trying to tune it. Then you can check the bottom and the top tuning. The way you do this is hold the bottom and then tap the top and then reverse it. Now right now my bottom head is higher than my top head. You might like that tuning. 
nice rich sound. If they're exactly the same, you might get a little more resonance out of the drum. In fact, just by pushing on the top head a little, I might be able to stretch it. They're almost the same now. Maybe a little warmer. The size of the drum can make a big difference as well. Deeper drums, a lot of people will tune the bottom heads lower than the top. And what happens then is when you hit the top head, the higher pitch will die quicker than the bottom. And uh, you'll hear this kind of doom kind of a sound. That's a, a favorable sound for a lot of people. Um, as far as how much sound you can get out of drum has a lot to do with the tuning perfection of the top and the bottom head, whether they're the same pitch, the shell, has a, a vibration to it, the airspace inside. All of these things could be the same and you could have a perfectly tuned drum that sounds really nice and rich and warm and you may not like it. You might want a thuddier tone. Remember by putting ring mufflers and uh, moon gel or something like that on the drums you can get rid of the over ring and get more of a, a, a deader sound. Jazz players tend to like that. Rock players and I like more of a, a, a thuddy or something like that. So experiment, what's really important to remember out of all of this is use two keys. It's an extra couple of bucks, but you're gonna tune much faster as you go. Bass drums have muffling systems. They're kind of a whole nother animal. Generally tune them evenly and make sure they're stretched out and go from there. Snare drums, I usually crank them pretty tight. So uh, you're not really going for a pitch there as much as an overall snare sound. And we'll, we'll talk about in the, in the next video about snares. So that's how you tune a drum uh, in general. Uh, we'll talk about snare drums and maybe bass drums down the line. Your, your rack toms are the easiest to start with with these toms. Floor toms are a little boomier. I would just go for even tension and not worry too much about pitch on them. And then there's a relative pitch between the drums. People always ask, should they be certain pitches? Just find pitches you like. Look at the diameters of the drums, and that's the diameters from the inside of the rim to the inside of the rim. And if you have a 12, 13 rack tom, those are only one inch apart. They're not gonna have a big difference in pitch. But if you say you have a 10 and a 12, you have a bigger differentiation between that. You might like that better. So uh, just think about the sizes of your drums, the depths, and, and go for it and listen to a lot of drums, see what you like. So if you'd like more information, go to our website, that's drumexchange.com, and uh, you can email or give us a call if you have more questions. Feel free to come in uh, if you want to have us to take a look at a drum and uh, show you how to tune it in person. Otherwise, this video should hopefully help you out. We'll see you soon.